Hello, and welcome to AMS2. Welcome to Monaco, and welcome to the BMW M6 GT3. For today, I thought we would dive back into the GT3 category with one of the most underused cars from what I can tell. The TT boards are littered with McLarens, the races are filled with McLarens and Mercedes, and a lot of people talk about their Porsche fanboying. But the BMW M6 GT3 is a very underrated car. Up until 1.2, the BMW was the slowest of the bunch. It was also the most disappointing to drive, with no discernible characteristics of its own. However, since 1.2, the car has been revitalized, it's now a comfortable car to drive, and is one that rewards you for driving it hard and well. This version of the M6 is now the best of the rest in terms of consistency and lap times behind the McLaren and in front of the other GT3s. On long, well-paced stints, this car's handling characteristics will help look after all four of your tyres. It's neutral on turn-in, it's got bags of grip on the exit, and it actually likes and feels like it wants to be pushed, unlike previous iterations. Coupled with the best dashboard information layout, as well as some softer touch materials on the dash itself, you can't think for a much more comfortable place to be, to be honest. So, if you're looking for an alternative to those McLarens on a dark, wet, late night stint, I can't think of a better place to be than the BMW M6.